Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're exploring the watercourse of Clough House Millbeck and a couple of culverts along the way. It was culverted under Great Northern Street Retail Park and we're looking at a tragedy that happened in the early 1900s. So we're starting here just below Mill Road in Berkeby and here the watercourse runs open after exiting a culvert which goes on for an unknown amount of distance because we couldn't get into it as it was too low before heading under this bridge behind us. Today we've got Richard and Michael with us. Um, I'll turn around so you can say hello to them. <laughs> uh, this is Michael's first explore with us so he's looking forward to it. Um, I already slipped <laughs> which is fun. But um, yeah, enjoy the video and um, yeah, enjoy. So we're heading south towards the still town centre and this is the first bridge that we encounter. Got my coping stick. It's quite slippery. built up and there's like housing estates at the top, like uh, industrial estates and a building yard. So like the walls being constructed to keep the river the stream back. But it does run open for quite a bit. Michael's found something floating in the river. Looks like noodles. Looks like noodles. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was like a baguette. Baguette. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Keep turning things over because on the way up we found a freshwater shrimp. The, later, later down the stream, when we was walking up it does run quite clear. I know it's quite murky here, but it does run quite clear. approaching a twin culvert um, on the right there's more water flowing through it I don't know if you can see that but I'm gonna go in the one on the left because it's quite deep at the end on the one on the right so even though there's no water flowing through the one on the left and that's the one that we'll take so just need to get there Uh, we just come from square box to mountain around concrete thing and we're straddling because there's a little bit of water in the middle, it's a bit slippery. So we're walking like ducks. Apart from Richard, which you can hear splashing in the background. It's 
not that long. And we emerge in a magical wonderland. Low bridge. I thought it's carrying a stick, my GoPro, and a torch, and crouching. Oh, I just whacked my head. There is pipes, as you can see. Yeah, this could be a sewer pipe. Cheater. So here we've got an old railway, remains of a railway viaduct. I uh, can't remember what line it is off the top of my head. But onwards to the culverts. So it opens out a little bit here. It's a lot flatter, but so quite fast. Not fast flowing, but it's got some pace to it. I'm just trying to manoeuvre my way around this little bit because it's a bit slippery. Oh, it's sinking mud. Oh, it's fairly deep. And stick to the side it might not be as deep so up there is the old railway banking so i don't know if anyone else sees it but i found a stone that looks like a shark like you've got the eyes the mouth like the pointy nose like i think it's a shark well, we've come out of the water because it's a bit deep, so it's only there. But just got back in further down. I 
think I can get back in just here. Yeah, although I look a bit peaty. I've got bad knees, so I have to like have to crouch down. And we're back in. So far, not been particularly interesting. So we're going Changes, up there. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> going back on the salt. Hands the camera to Richard. Just my parking stick. Railway stone there. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you expect me to walk along here. Carefully. Carefully. Like that. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a wall here, but there's like iron ore leaking out of the bottom of it, which is interesting. Giving off like an iron smell. I wonder what that's all about. It leaks into the river, into the stream. But the culvert is just up in front of us there. So we're getting back in now. So this is the culvert that we found. Um, the corrugated iron looks like it's from the late 1900s um, it's a bit rotten and green um, as you can see it's like to rot away there um, it's not in the best shape it's a bit spooky looking to be honest but we'll check it out we've got his torches uh, not that it lights it up very well but Richard's got a better torch are you ready Michael? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a bit apprehensive to be honest. I wish I had my stick. Oh, crap. It's definitely a really weird walking surface. Oh, the walls remains. Certainly a bright torch. It's definitely a really weird surface to walk on. Can't really compare it to anything but walking on corrugated iron sheets. There's some stones in the bottom row. Which make it a bit easier to walk on. Look at that. Like there's no way out. It looks like there could be lights. It's a little bit of light, so we could see the light. We're going to show up on the GoPro, but it's not too deep either. It's just good. There's metal prongs sticking out where they've cheated it together. We're hoping as it gets further in that it'll turn to a brick lined culvert or a stone lined culvert. And it's been culverted from the 1800s. It last ran up in, in the 1710s, I believe, the 1700s. So there's an access point but we're not quite sure where it leads but there's, it's very short, there's a manhole cover there. Um, it gets narrow here. Um, I've been able to stand up and part that with me. There's brick lines, like nearly brick lines at this point. It's very low to this. Um, if you just see up 
cục và But it goes into like a concrete concrete chamber. You can see how oh this coat's gonna get wet. See how fast the water's flowing. You can feel the floor vibrating which is weird. Richard reminds me of like when you're on a video game, there's like a recon mission and like. You bend over. You have to like bend over and like snoop, like slip. Press up, press up, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> snoop, 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 could work. Oh, that's what me is. Look at all these like salad types. Sewer so pipe. Oh, slipping. Oh, you found life? Oh yeah. Suitcase. Richard's checking to see if there's a body in the suitcase. <laughs> Why is there a microwave in a suitcase? <laughs> right, so we found um, little stalks growing. I don't know if you can see because of that's a bit better. Which is quite nice. Um, the water level will not get that high just here. There's a suitcase that we just have to check to make sure there's no bodies in there. I thought there was somebody stood there then. Oh, there's an out outflow here, an outlet. Let's just go take a nose at my. That's interesting. Yeah, On wood. <laughs> so we've got some support beams coming up. So we think we're under Leeds Road right now and we think that because if you see they've put new support beams in and we can hear traffic going over ahead and they're currently doing construction work on Leeds Road but just <laughs> look at these support beams like look at the state of them like that's terrible and if you look at the other end you can see where it's buckled <coughs> So that could have come down at any point. But if you turn around, we've got a lovely surprise in front. We've got to be careful with the floor because it's quite slippery. Look at that lovely arch when Richard gets out of the way. There we go, thank you. We've got some lovely arch trays and there's some pottery down here that's cemented in. There's a really nice smell. I wonder if it's been left for a reason. It's just all clear piping. All clear piping. I'm not liking the smell that's coming out of that. That's not like that. So Michael found the GPS signal and he found out that that low part where Richard is is actually a loose road. So we don't know where up part. there is. That could be the retail park. Uh, so yeah, they need to sort their um, parts out because it was shit. 
Um, so we're just underneath this manhole. And we're just looking at the brickwork. So it looks like Victorian brickwork. And it gets <coughs> quite low for about 200 yards. Not even that. Maybe like 60 yards. I'm really good with it. Really bad with yards. Does anybody else hear that in office? Yeah, that's not working on the grid. This is not Hello! Possible. That's just not police, that's not Oh! Oh! Right, we'll go under that. Let's crouch down. Right, we have to crouch down. That's good. Yeah. In my car? Yeah. Loads of like leaves. No, yeah, no. Start time. Oh, I don't know. As you can see, we have to crouch, and it is the most painstaking thing I have ever done in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's my legs. Don't look down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Why can I hear the water? I don't know how much this cold that we're going to end up doing today because we haven't researched it very well. There was nothing much to research. Oh, my legs. Second a mini break. You're halfway. I'm more than halfway. So that's it. That's not me. Shit. Slipped. Shit, I'm So I've made it out of the chamber of doom. And out of this round little circular bit. I'm just going to point out the floor in here. It's opened up nicely again, you can stand up. Um, I can hear fast flowing water. Um, so we're going to see what that's all about. And then I've got a story to tell you. Which is quite interesting. It's only short, but it's still a story. The water's quite deep here now. About ankle deep. <laughs> so this is where all the loud noise is coming from. But look how the floor is changing again. Lines, so, let me get down there now. I'll pass you over to Richard. Mm -hmm. Out there. Up there. So this is like definitely more Victorian, Edwardian. The Beck changes names from being Clough Mill Lane Beck or whatever it was to Hebel Beck. And it was the boundary line between Berkeley and I can't remember the name of the my head, but I'll put it in as a thing on the screen. And it changes again. So 
floor we found on the drought floor. Not, not sure where any of these come from, but this seems like quite an old one that's been like covered in like spray creek at some point or cement. Um, quite a modern steel girder. Not quite sure where we are. Um, we're going to try and find a GPS signal. Michael's found daylight. <laughs> Oh, we've come out just here. <coughs> Ceiling gets lower again just here. It's quite dark, it's quite deep just here. And there's more water than murky. I'm not sure where we are, but we'll have a look on GPS. Oh, Great, Great Northern Street. So this is where I've got a tale to tell you. Someone's bag looks like it's been stolen and thrown over. So in 1903, a schoolboy discovered a baby's body hidden under a wheelbarrow here at Great Northern Street. At this time there were no buildings, no uh, retail park, it was just surrounded by fields and the body of the baby and um, murder was never solved. Um, so it's solved today, an unsolved murder, an unsolved mystery. Um, so there we go. It's quite sad to think about really. Uh, it was discovered in the stream um, by just a small boy himself. So guys, that was Hebelbeck. We are now back at the start. We had to do some old dodgy dealings to get out, so um, we'll not talk about those. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. I don't know what Michael's doing. Um, <laughs> um, so this is Richard, and that's Michael, and you've been watching Helena Wonders. So take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.